Hello, fellow traders. Tis I, the Rumpled One. It is Thursday, October the 3rd. The year's 2019. Let's talk trading. The mistaken and misinformed. I just listened to another podcast from a trader. And it's funny. It really is totally funny. How much... stuff is put out there that just isn't so and that's why i'm talking about the mistaken and misinformed there's a difference between reality and perspective and opinion reality is reality it's it is what it is you can call something something else you know a rose by any other name is still a rose What's this got to do with trading? Everything. People put out these trading podcasts and videos and forum posts, etc. But most of them, or some of them, have one thing in mind, and that's to sell you something. And I heard this guy talking. And he talked about the something platinum. Ooh, platinum. I got to have that. I need the platinum one. I mean, really get real. And then he goes on to describe some bunch of squiggly line stuff. And what was really funny is he couldn't even remember the, the exact name of some of these things. And then he starts talking about MACD and these magic numbers hey i'm gonna admit it straight up i fell for that nonsense oh about maybe 20 years ago or so i, I will admit it there's a buddy of mine hey wild wild super it's up in canada and he used to you know feed me his secret mac d numbers and i fell for it hey wild was a good trader i learned a few things from him but when I look back, I have to laugh at myself. There are no magic numbers. I mean, granted, I show you pivot points, you know, high, plus low, plus close. You add them together, you divide it by three, and you get the pivot point. Well, is that a magic number? No, it's not. But the thing is, many, 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 many traders follow it. And you know I run the statistics, and I show you how the distance between open and pivot is usually covered on a regular recurring basis. Very few pivots are missed. And you see, but I don't fall for the, the magic about that number. I mean, you could just say, hey, how many times does price go open plus 25 or open plus 30? I do that. It's in my frequency distributions. That's what the buy zone is based off of. So, I'm not mistaken, nor am I misinformed about these things, but there's just so much information out there that isn't so. In fact, it happens everywhere, like in the, uh, in the prepper community, you know, people who prepare for disasters. You know, my friend calls it the prepper industry because, I mean, on a daily basis, somebody's trying to sell me a knife or a flashlight. I've got plenty of both. I don't need any more. <laughs> but they make you think, if you don't have this one, you're going to die. And it's just like in trading. These people banter around terms um, like price action, but they never define it. And it's real simple. Deming said it the best. If you can't explain what you're doing as a process, then you don't know what you're doing. It's just that simple. And so I just want to put this out there. Don't be mistaken. Don't be misinformed. And, and you know, just don't buy the, the BS that they're peddling. I know that might sound a little opinionated. And yes, it is. But it's based in fact. Just like when I tell you, if you don't have your risk management in place, and you lose more per trade than you're willing to lose, you're on the path to financial ruin as far as your portfolio goal goes. Now, remember, boys and girls, these videos are for educational purposes only, and your results may differ from mine. 
and Forex is very, very risky when you trade. Any trading is risky. Therefore, if you need financial advice, seek it from an accredited financial professional so when they lose your money, you know it was lost by an accredited financial professional rather than some Yahoo you listen to on YouTube. Blank chart, daily chart. <laughs> Look at that. The yen dropped again. But all you need to know is right here. You see, it went through the wick zone. It fell out. I mean, happens every day. You're going to get almost that every day. With the except sometimes it doesn't leave the wick zone and you get an inside bar, right? And let's see. Here we got the weekly chart. 26 pips below the weekly low at the moment. Oh, I'm sorry, the previous week's low. We're 20 pips off the weekly bottom here. Now 19, so we're in the rat zone. All the gaps have filled. Once again, this is something that you can pretty much take to the bank on a regular recurring basis. Oh, uh, what did what happened here? Let's see. We had the first day of the month's um, range right here. We had the first day of the week's range right here. And price fell through both, and it just continued to fall. This stuff really isn't difficult. But I tell you, it just burns me when I hear these guys, you know, and I don't know how many thousands of traders are listening to them. And, and, and you know, they're taking this stuff hook, line, and sinker. Inside bar, we drew those horizontal lines a couple of days ago. Price went right through the bottom, almost came back. And then fell again. Simple. And you know, the other thing is these guys talk about their trading charts. You know, you're not trading charts. You're not trading baseball cards. What you are is trading price. I don't care what time frame you look at, because price is the same on all time frame. If I switch the time frame from D1 to W1 or H1, guess what? The price stays the same. There's only one true t chart, and that's the tick chart. I've said it before, but for those of you just tuning in, that is the only true chart. Every other chart is data compression. All a candle is is all the data within an hour. It's all the ticks. It's compressed. You take four points. You take the open point. You take the high point. You take the low point, and you take the close point. That's it. That's But it's all ticks. It's just data compression. You know, fortunately, my background's in computer science, so I understand data. I can see things for what they are. It's kind of like in the Matrix when when Neo finally sees, you know, the code when he looks at, you know, Mr. Smith. I don't know. I guess that video or that podcast got me kind of worked up because I just hate listening to that stuff. Because I, I just feel for the traders out there that are going to, you know, go down that path. Okay, buy zone. We had the pivot point above the buy zone, so we would ignore the short trigger. But here, price went in the buy zone. You took that trade. Looks like it was either a scratch trade or you got stopped out. And since it didn't reach the pivot point, you see here, it went above the open, fell below. It's like, hey, wait a minute. What else do we know? I think we know one other piece of information here. Uh, we had the weekly open right there and the pivot point that was missed. So price goes above the daily, gets it between the zone, comes out of the zone between the weekly and the daily. That means it came out the south side. That means you want to be short, take taking that short signal, and you got the rest. Rat, green rats, get ready. As you can see, we just punched through the uh, rat zone here, put a new low in, and now we've got a new rat zone. Now, remember I told you earlier about the weekly and the monthly pivots. We took those out. In fact, we hit S2 on the daily, S2 on the weekly, and now it's a return. 
what I think's happening is is that NFP is going to be out tomorrow, so they're they're just kind of like cleaning the slate so they can move price. They're probably accumulating. We've got the the uh, pivot missed here and a pivot missed here, but as you can see, two missed pivots so far this month. One last month, but then you have to go all the way back to May. You know, once again, this is simple statistics. Okay, nothing. No higher math involved here, really. There's none. You can look here. We, we have lines every 10 pips. We know price doesn't like to stay between the lines. Okay, on the Euro Yen. I wonder why I must have switched over to the Euro Yen. I was going to probably show you guys something about that. But here on the... Uh, dollar yen you do have some hours where price doesn't leave it but that just means it's accumulating and then boom it has to leave that area price just doesn't like to stay within those lines it has to move it has to range unless the market's closed right because that's what price does it moves and it doesn't move sideways it moves up and down wick zone in and out in and out just like every day Every day, you know, you can take this to the bank. And at the tick level, you can see here, we're just kind of waffling around a couple of pip zone. Einstein line, sometimes you just get lucky. In fact, every time you win, it's luck because you can't count on the outcome of any particular trade. So right there, you got the short signal and boom, as John Madden would say. On the, uh, let's shift over to H4 real quick. On the weekly buy zone, you see here, you had a couple of opportunities. This is looking at the H4 candle. This is what we would call a steamroller or a freight train. And it's just like, you don't want to step in front of one of those. You just don't. Looking at the range today, 80, the month 197 so far. And now remember, we have the monthly open minus half the, the uh, max ATR and half the max or half minus half the min ATR right here. It's real simple. You calculate the ATR, you add it to the open, and then you also draw a line right here. So between ATR and stopped. Hmm. And that was weird. Everything just stopped. Okay, so from the open, you calculate the ATRs. From ATR2, run, computer runs in a loop, to ATR14, there's a minimum value, a maximum value, you multiply that by 0.5 or divide it by 2, you get half. So this is half the open minus the ATR, the min, the max. It came down here right into that zone, and it popped back out. And that's what we're looking for, for targets and for places possibly to reverse. And it is simple stuff. It really is. So, fellow traders, let's wrap up. Don't be mistaken. Don't be misinformed, okay? Truly, there are people out there just trying to separate you from what's in your hip national bank called your wallet or your purse, and they'll, they'll try to sell you just about anything. Don't fall for it, okay? Trading is simple. You know, all you need to trade is a horizontal line. I show you this stuff day after day after day. And so, as you sit down in front of your trading platform, always remember and never forget, it's not what you trade, it's how you trade it. So go out there and drain the banks. And hit the subscribe button. And also, I guess you're supposed to hit that like thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. And I'm probably going to wind up getting some thumbs down. That's just the way some people are. So anyway, I hope you have a profitable day. Remember, tomorrow's NFP, so be alert. And the Rumpel One is signing out.